Yeah, Thomas will be out uh, this evening, so uh, Kevin will be in on his spot. Serious for Thomas? Is it? Uh, uh, no, it's something that he's been uh, dealing with uh, the last couple of weeks. So it's just uh, it's good to see you evaluate him on a day-to-day basis. What are you hearing from uh, on Tyler Thomas? Well, I think uh, he's a kid that has. Uh, you know, a, a good physical presence, uh, you know, a good stick, uh, more defensive-minded oriented uh, D, but uh, brings a physicality to his game. Uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, to see his performance tonight. You, you were in Chicago a couple of, a few weeks ago. You played, played them, and, and Bedard had just kind of come back to the lineup. What, what do you see? Two weeks ago? Or, or, what do you remember seeing out of him, and like, what's the what's the challenge for you guys as a group? Yeah, well, I think he's you know, it's like um, most exceptional players. You know, I think uh, you know we just saw Connor McDavid on Sunday, uh, different than McDavid. McDavid, you know, has the element of speed that Bedard doesn't have. Uh, but Bedard is, you know, a lot. Those players, a lot of time is, you know, they have great skills. There's no doubt. Like with with uh, Connor, is really good in tight. Uh, you know, kind of getting people to uh, commit and then you know making a move to beat them, whether it's to get around them or take a shot, change the angle. Um, but I think what stands the most with uh, with most of those. Uh, high elite end players is, is their ability to uh, see the play before it uh, materializes. You know, I think they they have a, kind of a special sense. I think like their anticipation uh, is at another level. Coach, last night you got a lot of early momentum. How important is that pushing forward as you get down the stretch to to come out and establish something early in the game? Well, I think uh, I think it's important, but you know, like I, when I look back at the game from last night, uh, you know, like those goals were really, uh, really good execution. Like it was, uh, it wasn't bad goaltending. Like sometimes, you know, you, you know, you get bad, you know, you score bad goals. But I, I, got, I really got to say that we had, uh, you know, several of those goals were created by you know good forechecking, good finishing checks. And I think the, the one thing that we, that we did is we executed quickly. We, we shot the puck quickly. We had somebody at the net to tip in. Um, you know, we were on the puck. Uh, we were playing on our toes. And I think that, cre- uh, that helped create uh, the advantages and the opportunities. Je pense qu'il y a deux facteurs qui rentrent en jeu. Un, c'est, je pense qu'on on passe plus de temps en zone offensive, donc on a moins de temps à défendre. Et deuxièmement, je pense que, un, notre gardien de but est les arrêts lits, je pense qu'il est important. Euh, mais c'est sûr que je pense qu'on on, on, on sort la rondelle plus efficacement de notre zone. Donc, euh, ce, ce sont des points que si tu passes moins de temps aussi, on a mis l'emphase sur euh, être plus rapide à, à fermer sur, sur l'équipe adverse. Au lieu de leur donner euh, plus de temps pour exécuter, on essaie d'éliminer leur temps et essayer, essayer de de réduire le nombre de chances de marquer dans la, la zone A, la zone primordiale pour marquer. Bien, c'est sûr, c'est important. Tu sais, c'est un peu comme je pense c'est samedi à, à Jersey lorsque euh, M. Joseph Martin a dit en désavantage numérique. Tu as besoin de, de, de production de de, de tes joueurs de soutien euh, 
dans une saison ou bien même en séries éliminatoires, souvent, euh, ces joueurs-là, à, à un certain moment, font une différence. Hier soir, je pense que c'était peut-être la, la meilleure performance de notre quatrième trio depuis que je suis ici. All right, well, welcome back. This has got to be a pretty exciting uh, morning and uh, day ahead for you. Yeah, I'm excited. It's good to be back. How was your game in Belleville? Yeah, I think that uh, it's grown over the year. I think that pro hockey is a uh, you know different style than college hockey, and um, you know the coaching staff down there has done a really good job of helping me grow my game and um, just just learn the pro lifestyle. Even the five games that you got up here in the uh, early stages of the season here, how much did that help? Yeah, I mean, it gave me a little taste of the NHL again, and um, you know, made me want to go down there and work on my game and just do everything I can to get back up and be in this position. What was it like? Maybe you can take us through the phone call or where you were at when you you found out you were coming back up here. Yeah, I was just in my room. I I was kind of uh, I was given a little bit of a heads up, and then uh, I got a call late last night, and I had to pack everything up and uh, get ready for the game. Where do you? Kind of maybe see yourself here, um, not only for these next ten games, but I think a lot of us are starting to look ahead the next season. Where do you see yourself maybe fitting in uh, the blue line picture here? Yeah, I think that uh, my presence of being physical is uh, needed on this team. I think that uh, just playing my style, just being simple, moving pucks. I think that that can be really helpful for this team, and um, I can bring an offense as well. But I think that being you know that shutdown guy and being hard to play against is something that will help me out and uh, hopefully keep me on the team. Will that take a major step forward if you can achieve that goal against number 98 on the other team tonight? Yeah, he's a pretty good player, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, every every player in the NHL is so talented. So you just got to you know treat everyone the same way with the same respect, and um, you know I'm gonna bring it up my own tonight.